YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about now that wide receiver Terry McLaurin is paid, is Deron Payne next? So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, I watch the Commanders. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. The link is now below in the description. I just launched my TikTok, and I'm trying to grow that platform as well. So go over there and stop by and give me a follow. Thank you so much, and let's get straight into today's video. Let's go. Uh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Louis. Louis, I'm about to fuck this joint up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn. When I hop in the booth, they fuck with my sound. Put that shit on the skin, we tax and pound for pound. Nigga keep this and put them in the ground. Get my shit in your ear, tell me how it sound. A nigga too smart can catch me out of bounds. Let's go. That bitch got cooked like some chicken. And he lying, he not rapping what he living. Bitch is my cousin, but this shit a business. Work that bitch out just like we doing fitness. So. We're still riding high off of the great news that we found out yesterday that the Washington Commanders have extended the face of the franchise, the best player on this team, number 17, wide receiver Terry McLaurin, three years, $71 million, $28 million signing bonus, and $54 million guaranteed. We were so happy. I was happy. The whole fan base was happy, man, because now we can decompress. We now can move past this we no longer have to worry about oh will terry mclaurin hold out a training camp when will they pay terry you know it would even go as far as people thinking that he was going to get traded now i never thought that but you had people especially in the indianapolis area thinking he was going to come home and and go to the colts you know and now we can put all that to bed and just worry about training camp, man. My boy Terry is here for the near future. I'm excited. He's the best player on this team. He is the face of the franchise. And he deserves every single penny. Now we're like, who's next? So, as we may know, Deron Payne has been another hot name this offseason. And not for contract extensions, but for possible trade scenarios. So, it was a report that came out. According to Washington Today on Instagram, he made a post that said this. The commanders have not been engaging in trade discussions for D-tackle De Deron Payne recently says been standing. A new contract for Deron Payne will likely cost between $16 to $18 million per season. There were rumors for Washington that Washington was shopping Payne before the draft, but now Washington is not entertaining the idea of trading him. Okay? So again, as we know... Prior to the draft and really since that incident that happened with Jonathan Allen, a lot of people were ready to ship him out of town. If you ask me for my opinion, I said, I like Payne. He cool, you know, but he's not someone that I would be geeking to resign. Like, he wants $18 million and he's that's out of our budget. We can't afford it. Let him go. You know, Payne is good. I'm not saying he's not. You know, it was a point in time like, prior to the season that Jonathan had before, you know, last season. I was saying Deron Payne because he was coming off of a 2020 season that was really, really good for him. I'm like, Deron Payne is our best defensive tackle. Jonathan Allen quickly shut that up with getting a new contract extension and then going out and having a season that he had. And Deron Payne not following suit with the 2020 season that he had. You know, Deron Payne, he, again, he's good, um, but he's not elite. He's not a guy that can take over a game. He's just a he's just a run stuffer. And he he runs into an occasional sack. Okay? Maybe this year will be different. Excuse me, now that he'll be playing for a contract. Maybe he'll go out there and be more aggressive and and and, and actually go bag a quarterback. But he's not a guy that goes hunting for QBs. He's just another run stuffer. That's how I see Deron Payne and he occasionally falls into a sack. I mean his best um trait you know batting the ball up in the air. You know, so again, I like Payne. He cool, um, but if he wants between sixteen to eighteen million, and he's out, that's out of our budget. I'm not geeking to resign him. But if they do resign him, okay, cool. Like that's just how I truly am with this situation. Um, I don't think they're going to resign Deron Payne though, me personally, because they just drafted for Darian Mathis, and you don't draft for Darian Mathis, Mathis in the second round to be behind Deron Payne. 
much longer. Like, you draft Tim Settles to be behind Deron Payne. You know, you draft Tim Settles in the fifth round. You draft Matthew Ioannidis in the later rounds to be depth rotational pieces that can, luckily for us, Matt Ioannidis and Tim Settle, you know, they, 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 um, they actually turned out to be something. But you don't draft Fidarian Mathis's. Matthews or Mathis, but Danny Mathis to be backups more than one year. You know, you you draft for Danny Mathis so he can learn this year, he can play a little bit this year, but then next year once you don't resign the Deron Payne, he can step right in. And oh, you're worried about your depth now? You go and draft a Tim Settle in the fifth round. You know, so again. I personally don't think Washington is resigning to Ron Payne. Um, I think they already are through with that situation. He he's definitely gonna get paid. Like trust me, Deron Payne is good. He's gonna get paid, just not here. Just not here. At least in my opinion, you know they could definitely be like, oh, we want Payne back, and they definitely could could resign to Ron Payne. You know, I wouldn't do it again. Just because you drafted for Darian Mathis, and he's not an elite game-changing defensive tackle. He's just another run stuffer and an occasional sack here and there. And that is what Fedarian Mathis is. So you might you would you rather pay $16 million for Fedarian Mathis? Or should I say Deron Payne rather? Or or take the cheaper rookie contract guy, and they're kind of the similar player. Like, yes, obviously Deron Payne may be better because he in the NFL longer, and he has work to show for it at the professional level. But to me, when you look at these guys play, they're they're the similar guy. Like they're similar. They're they're neither are guys that are going to take over a game. And and honestly, neither is Jonathan Allen. Like neither is Jonathan Allen. He's not a guy that's going to wreck a game. He he's starting to grow into that. He's starting to morph into that. But he's not a guy that's going to wreck a game. He's not an Aaron Donald. He's not a Chris Jones. He's not going to take over a game. Okay, um, and that's just how I feel about Deron Payne, and I don't think it's worth sixteen million dollars, six between sixteen and eighteen million dollars. Um, especially when you paid Jonathan Allen similar money last year, and even John Allen isn't a elite pass rusher. Um, getting to the quarterback yet? Again, he's morphing into that, but he's not there yet. Okay, so I, I think Washington is going to let him walk. I really do. Uh, and I think that may be the smarter option, you know, especially when you have guys like Cole Holcomb coming down the pipe. Who, yeah, he's not going to cost nearly as much as these two guys, Terry and possibly Deron. But you have him coming down the pipe who deserves a contract extension. You're still on the fence about Chase Young and Montez Sweat, but you never know what can happen. These guys could both have breakout seasons, and you have to be prepared, especially for Montez Sweat, if you want to keep him. So. Again, if they decide to keep Deron Payne, it, it, I wouldn't be mad about it. I'd just be like, okay, you know, let's rock out, Deron. But if they decide to let him walk, you're not really losing much, in my opinion. Now, a guy made a comment and said good about keeping Deron Payne and not engaging in contract, um, contract talks. He says good. He's too valuable to trade, and his worth ethic shows. The whole D-line needs to stay with the organization for a long time. And, again, if they were to keep this defensive line together, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I, we, we all wanted that. But once we start to see how much these guys are each going to cause, it's like, man, somebody's going to be the odd man out. And maybe that's Deron Payne. Or maybe it's not Deron. Maybe they paid Deron Payne and maybe it's Montez Sweat or Chase Young. I don't know. But I think it's Deron Payne. I really do. Again, worth that thing is amazing. You know, he's good. He's solid. He's going to get paid somewhere else. I just don't think it's going to be here in Washington. I really don't. I think he's going to have to go somewhere else and get his money. And that, and, and that happens. You know? But, again, Payne, he's going to play this year. We got him for this year. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has the best year of his career because he's going to be on a contract year and he's going to want to get paid. But for, like, the 20th time in this video, I personally just don't think is going to be here in Washington. Okay, so yeah, man, let me just think about this video in the comment section down below. How do you feel about Deron Payne? Would you pay him? Would you let him walk? Um, so apparently we're not engaging in trade discussions for Deron Payne anymore. I know that was a hot topic prior to the draft, but now it seems like Deron Payne, the trade talks have cooled off and he's just here. 
Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello to the Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. And also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All the links are down below in the description. Thank you so much. I'm out. Peace.